except from lawn boy by gary paulson okay since i was 12 i didn't have much experience with motors i have never even had a dirt bike or four wheeler i am just not machine oriented my birthday present sat there i tried pushing it towards our garage but it didn't seem to want to move even turning around to put my back against it and push with my legs which i thought might give me better leverage leverage means advantage didn't help it still sat there so i studied it on the left side of the motor was a small gas tank and i unscrewed the top and looked in yep gas on top of the tank were two levers the first was next to the picture of a rabbit and a turtle even though i am not good with machines i figured out that was the throttle and the pictures meant fast and slow the other lever said on off i pushed on nothing happened of course on the very top of the motor was a starting pull rope what the heck why not i, I gave it a jerk and the motor sputtered a little popped once then died i pulled the rope again and the motor hesitated popped and then roared to life i jumped back no muffler muffler is a silencer which is used to uh, reduce the noise of the vehicle then uh, not machine oriented means a person that is not comfortable with the machines leverage means advantage so in uh, these four paragraphs uh, the writer is talking about a person who is not comfortable with the machines but he got his birthday present a vehicle so he try he was trying to push it into the garage with the, but uh, it was not helping at all then he decided to read the instructions there were two levers one lever was to control the speed and the second lever was to turn it off and on so he pushed on button after that he saw a starting pull rope he pulled the rope in the start the vehicle was not working but at last it started working and it was too noisy once when i was little my grandmother in her usual logic defying fashion answered my request for another cookie by saying that my grandfather had been a tinkerer tinkerer is a person who enjoys fixing or experimenting with machines he was always fussing with things taking them apart putting them back together when he was around nothing ever broke nothing ever dared to break loud as the mower was it still wasn't moving and the blade wasn't going around i stood looking down at it this strange thing happened it st- spoke to me well not really i'm not one of those woo woo people or rag job like rag job means strange or freak at least i don't think i was maybe i am now Anyway there was some message that came from the mower through the air and into my brain a kind of warm or maybe settled feeling like i was supposed to be there and so was the mower the two of us like it was a friend so all right i know how that sounds too we will sit under a tree and talk to each other read poems about mowing totally back so here uh the person is encouraging himself uh, by reminding the stories of uh, his grandmother which he used to tell about his grandfather that he was uh, very good with machines and in his presence nothing could break in the start it was not working but uh, the strange thing happened it spoke to me it spoke to me means it started working after that he is just explaining that uh, now he is very good with the mower they both become friends but the feeling was there next i found myself sitting on the mower my feet on the pedals i moved the throttle to the rapid position throttle is a device which controls the flow of fuel or power to an engine it had been on turtle and pushed the left pedal down and the blade started whirling the mower seemed to give a happy leap forward off the sidewalk and i was moving the lawn or dirt as i said we didn't really have much of a lawn dust and bits of dead grass flew everywhere 
and until I figured out the steering, the mailbox, my mother's flowers near the front step and a small bush were in danger. But in a few minutes, I got control of the thing and I sheared off what little grass there was. Sheared off means to remove something with great force. The front lawn didn't take long, but before I was done, the next door neighbor came to the fence, attracted by the dust cloud. He waved me over, like he may have waved his hand. I stopped in front of him, pulled the throttle back and killed the engine. The sudden silence was almost deafening. I stood up away from the moor, my ear humming I, so I could hear him. You mow lawns? He asked. How much? And that was how it started. Question number one. What does the narrator most likely mean when he say he is not machine oriented? In paragraph one. Option A. He has no use of machines. Option B. He is afraid to operate machines. Option C. He has not seen many machines. And the last option is he knows little about how machines work. So not machine oriented means he knows little about how machines work. Question number two, what is the most likely reason the narrator is pushing the lawn more uh, in paragraph two? Option A is he is afraid the mower will not start. B, he does not want the mower to sit outside. C, he needs more time to examine the mower. And the last option A, he is not familiar with how to start the mower. So here, if we read the second whole paragraph, uh, we will get the message that he is not familiar with how to start the mower. That's why he was pushing it too much with the help of his body and using different techniques. Question number three, in paragraph five, the narrator remembers a story of his grandmother told him about his grandfather. The effect this story has on the narrator is to Option A, remind him how little he knows about machines. B is encourage him to keep trying. C is amuse him while he is doing unentrusted work. D is show him that he needs to work faster. The purpose of the story was to encourage him to keep on trying because he was not machine oriented, but he had to start the mower. So he was uh, telling himself that the grandfather was the tinkerer and he was very good with the machine. So he should keep on trying. Question number four in paragraph eight, when the narrator says that the moor spoke to him, he most likely meant that he suddenly A. Became more confident about using the moor. B. Enjoyed the sound of the running motor of the moor. C understood how the different parts of the mower work and D became more interested in using the mower to make money. So in paragraph 8, it was written that mower spoke to him. It means he became more confident using the mower because in the start it was not working at all. But after reading the instructions uh, and uh, uh, pulling the rope, it just started working. So he was confident. Uh, about using the more. Question number five, the illustration best helps the reader to understand. Illustration means visual representation in the form of a picture or video. Option A is paragraph four, B is paragraph six, paragraph 15 and paragraph 17. So if we read the paragraph 15, but in a few minutes I got control of the thing and I sheared off what little grass there was. Sheared off means removing something with the great force. So if uh, this part of the whole paragraph is shown with the help of a picture or video, it is more understandable for the reader. Question number six, which phrase best describes how the narrator changes from the beginning of the story to the end? Option A, from patient to hurried. Option B is from uncertain to confident. Uncertain means unsure. Option C is from curious to nervous. Curious means eager to know something or nervous as anxious or tense. Option D is uh, from determined to grateful. So determined means committed. 
here the uh, narrator was uncertain he was not sure that he would be able to start the mower or not but uh, later on he was very confident that uh, he just uh, uh, he could uh, mow the lawn of his neighbors as well read the passage then answer question 7 through 13 bmx racing by bill gutman bmx means bicycle motocross if you like riding a bicycle fast and if you like a good challenge, BMX racing may be the perfect sport for you. You have to be an outstanding rider for BMX racing. You also have to be in top physical condition. You can't worry about an occasional bump or bruise. You can see what is a bruise. You are going to fall usually when you and another ride collide. Collide means bump into each other uh, with a great force. Some riders prefer freestyle BMX, doing jumps, wheelies, and other tricks. There are freestyle contests, but a freestyle rider performs alone. He is judged only on his skill with his bike. In BMX racing, you are going head to head against your opponent. Uh, it's a race to see who can cross the finish line first. You have to give everything you have for the whole race. You have to be competitive. You are racing to win. How BMX racing got started? BM BMX racing began in the early 1970s in California. Young bicyclists uh, wanted to do more than just ride around on their bikes. So they began racing and doing tricks. In 1970, a motorcycle a movie called On Any Sunday showed motorcycles riding over rough train and flying high into the air. The movie gave some young riders the idea to make tracks with bumps and hills for bicycle racing that is called train. The path. The young riders quickly learned that their bikes just couldn't take the pounding. Pounding means repeated and heavy striking or hitting of someone or something. So there were bent rims broken spokes and cracked frames of the bicycle, the riders had to try something different. The BMS uh, X bicycle. Soon bicycle manufacturers began to make a new kind of bike, the BMX bike, just for racing. With 20 inch into 50 centimeter tires, the bike was smaller and lighter than the regular street bike. The BMX racing bike also had a very strong frame. The new bike was strong but light and could go very fast. It could take the pounding a rider gave it, whether racing on a BMX track or doing freestyle tricks. BMX bikes cost from about $100 for a basic model to $600 or more for a racing model. A bike that you buy at a shop is called a stock bike. No matter what the cost, some racers like to customize or trick out their bikes. That means changing the bike to make it faster and better. If you want to race, a good rule is to buy the best bike you can afford, learn about it. If you want to make it better, buy better parts when you can. Before long, you will have a great racing bike. The track. BMX racers run on dirt tracks that are 800 to 1400 feet long. Most are level, but a few of the longer ones run downhill. The dirt on the tracks should be packed hard for better traction. Traction means the grip of tire on a road or wheel on a rail. Even level BMX tracks are flat. They have jumps, bumps, and turns. A good track usually has one big jump and several smaller ones. Turns to both the right and left are called S-turns. Banks on the turns are called bumps. Most tracks also have a series of rounded bumps placed close together. They are called whoopty, voodoos, and whoops. Some big jumps have flat tops called tabletops. Racers fly over the tabletops during the race. It takes real skill to speed over these BMX tracks, especially in the close race. Question number seven, the word collide comes from a Latin word meaning strike together. Based on this information, what is the meaning of collide in paragraph two? 
ऑप्शन ए बम्प इन टू विद फोर्स बी हिट विद एन ऑब्जेक्ट सी इंजर बाय ब्रूजिंग एंड डी इज स्विंग अगेंस्ट सो इट्स मीन इज बम्प इन टू विथ फोर्स क्वेश्चन नंबर एट विच पैराग्राफ बेस्ट हेल्प द रीडर टू अंडरस्टैंड द रिसर्च पैराग्राफ वन टू थ्री और फोर so if we read the paragraph 4 it is all about the racers of bmx racing so option d is the correct option question number 9 the information in paragraph 7 and 8 best supports the idea than manufacturers develop option a is equipment to introduce a new sport b is equipment when there is an existing need c is products when the old ones are not safe d is products when the old ones are not purchased so if we read the 7th and 8th paragraph uh, in 7th uh, paragraph it is written the younger rider quickly learned that bikers just couldn't take pounding there were broken parts of the bicycle and then riders had to try something different in 8th paragraph it is written that manufacturer uh, made new kinds of uh, bikes uh, they were light in weight and they were different than the regular bike street uh, regular street bikes so here the answer is equipment when there is an existing need because when uh, the previous bikes were not safer anymore so the manufacturer developed the new bikes according to the need of the racing question number 10 as they are uh, used in paragraph 10 what do the words trick out means option a the rider adds fancy trim and wheels b is the rider spends a large amount of money c is the rider adds parts to improve performance and the last option is the rider makes changes that create a unique appearance so c is the correct option because it is written the the, the meaning of trick out is change bike to make it faster and better so option c is the correct one the rider adds parts to improve performance question number 11 read this sentence from paragraphs 2 and 11 you have to be an outstanding rider for bmx racing if you want to race a good rule is to buy the best bike you can afford what can the reader conclude from these sentences option a tricks and expensive gear make bms racing appealing b is bmx racers need practice and money to be successful c is skill and good equipment are important in bmx racing and d is bmx racers will win with the right preparation and tools so here skill and good equipment is very important in the bmx racing so that can be concluded Question number twelve: Which of these is more important to BMX racing than to freestyle BMX? Danger, difficulty, expense, or speed? Question number thirteen: Based on the information in the passage, how would freestyle BMX best prepare a rider for BMX racing? Option A is by helping the rider develop more skills. B by helping the rider stay in good condition. C by helping the rider escape serious injury. and d is by helping the rider avoid harmful crashes so if we read the third uh, paragraph it is about freestyle bmx in which skill is very important and the fourth paragraph is about uh, the simple bmx racing in which you have to go head to head against the opponent and uh, reach to the finish line first so uh, according to these two paragraphs the answer of the question number 12 is speed in uh, bmx racing speed is very important and in the freestyle bmx uh, skill is very important by helping the rider develop more skills the freestyle bmx uh, racing can be won question number 14 choose the correct sentence out of four sentences given below option a is every of these girls is learning her lesson b is every one of these girls is learning their lesson C is every one of these girls are learning her lesson, and D is every one of these girls is learning her lesson. So here, option D is the correct option. Every one of these girls is learning her lesson. Question number fifteen: Choose the correct sentence out of four sentences given below. 
ऑप्शन ए इज वर्क हार्ड लेस्ट यू शुड नॉट फेल बी वर्क हार्ड लेस्ट यू शुड फेल सी वर्क हार्ड लेस्ट यू कुड फेल डी इज वर्क हार्ड माइट यू शुड नॉट फेल सो लेस्ट मीन्स इन ऑर्डर टू प्रिवेंट समथिंग फ्रॉम हैपनिंग हेयर ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन वर्क हार्ड लेस्ट यू शुड फेल क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन लुक एट दीज डिटेल्स फ्रॉम अ पैराग्राफ मैन पीपल इंजॉय पाइज फिल विद पीचेज एप्पल्स और ब्लूबेरीज कोबलर इज अ पॉपुलर डिजर्ट ऑफ बेक्ड फ्रूट टॉप्ड विद पीसेज ऑफ क्रस्ट शर्बत अ कोल्ड ट्रीट मेड ऑफ फ्रूट और फ्रूट जूस इज ऑफन इंजॉयड इन द समर चूज द मेन आइडिया दैट टाइज ऑल द डिटेल्स टूगेदर सो वी हैव टू चूज अ टाइटल और मेन आइडिया फॉर द गिवन पैराग्राफ ऑप्शन ए इज सम पॉपुलर डिजर्ट्स आर मेड विद फ्रूट बी इज पॉपुलर इन द समर अ फ्रूट टार्ट कंटेन्स अ वराइटी ऑफ कलरफुल फ्रूट्स सी इज देर आर मेनी पॉपुलर फ्लेवर्स ऑफ आइसक्रीम एंड द लास्ट ऑप्शन इज देर आर मेनी फ्रूट्स विच आर यूज टू मेक शर्बत सो एज देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ डिजर्ट्स डिस्कस्ड इन द पैराग्राफ द सुटेबल मेन आइडिया कैन बी सम पॉपुलर डिजर्ट्स आर मेड विद फ्रूट्स including cobbler sherbet or uh, fruit pies question number 17 look at these details from the paragraph graham crackers are used to make a sweet treat called a s'more crushed graham crackers can be used in brownies instead of flour graham cracker crumbs can be used to make pie crusts choose the main idea that ties all the details together option a is you can mix graham crackers with cereal and marshmallows for a sweet treat graham crackers are used in different desserts c is all kinds of desserts are easy to make at home and d is only sweets can be made with graham crackers so the suitable main idea can be graham crackers are used in different desserts in brownies in pie crusts or in the sweet treat Question number eighteen. What is the main idea of the following passage? We can read this whole passage, and then the options are: the nineteenth amendment gave women the right to vote in nineteen twenty. B is Carrie Chapman Catt is a big reason that women won the right to vote in the U.S. C is the National American Women Suffrage Association faced many challenges in nineteen hundreds. D is cat left NAWSA to care for her sick husband so here the main idea is Carrie Chapman cat is a big reason that women won the right to vote in the US question number 19 what is the main idea of the following passage in september 2015 scientists working off the alaskan coast made a surprising discovery At the bottom of the ocean were parts of two whaling ships from the 1800s. 50 to 60 ships were known to have been lost in that area. The team of scientists also found chains, anchors, and pots for holding whale oil. Interestingly, warmer temperatures may have played a part in the discovery of the whaling ships. The planet's warmer temperatures have caused melting of ocean ice in areas near the poles. because of warmer weather and less ice the team could work well into the fall option a is in the 1800s it was common for whaling ships to become lost off the coast of alaska b is the warming of the planet caused warmer weather and less sea ice to be present in alaska so we can see the warmer temperatures helped in the discovery of the ships so c will be the correct option here the warming of the planet may have made the discovery of lost whaling ships possible so that is the correct option question number 20 what is most likely purpose of the following text the first step in setting up a lemonade stand is making the lemonade you will also need to create a sign that shows the price of for a cup after that you can set up a table and start your business So the purpose of this uh, paragraph can be to persuade to convince someone to inform to entertain or to refrain refrain means to stop 
so here it's uh, based on the information that how uh, someone can start a lemonade business so b is the correct option here question number 21 what is most likely purpose of the following text i am going to make a time capsule and i told her parents the at the breakfast table dad looked up from his coffee mug and smiled sounds interesting say hello to the pilgrims for me so the purpose of this paragraph is to just entertain because she is going to make a time capsule which is not possible and dad just responded her in a fun way question number 22 based on the following text which sentence is most likely to be true small pebbles rattled in the pan as a babbling water washed the dirt away nothing ali sighed to himself he scooped up some more rocks maybe it was time to give up as the dirt flowed away ali's heart began to pound what was that shining at the bottom of the pan option a is ali is hoping to find gold b is ali is cleaning his rock collection c is ali is washing camp dishes and d is all of the above so option a is the correct option because this is the whole procedure of finding gold from the rivers when question number 23 based on the following text which sentence is most likely to be true if the neighborhood school needs a substitute coach who did they call mr walid after a snowstorm who shovels the neighbor steps mr walid and when stray animals are hungry, where do they go? Mr. Walid's porch. So option A is Mr. Walid loves snowstorms. B is Mr. Walid is a great coach. C is Mr. Walid is always willing to help. And D is all of the above. So here option C is the correct option. Mr. Walid is always willing to help no matter it's a human being or animal. Question number 24, read the sentence, the famous statue of Zeus at Olympia in ancient Greece was broken during the 5th century. Now revise the sentence to show that the statue was completely broken. The famous statue of Zeus at Olympia in ancient Greece was dashed during the 5th century. Option A is destroyed, B is damaged, C is cracked and D is wasted. Here, we can read it as the famous statue of Zeus at Olympia in ancient Greece was destroyed during the 5th century because it was not cracked or damaged. It was completely destroyed. Question number 25, read the paragraph then add the best topic sentence. Computer programs written in the 1950s through the 1990s often represented each year with only its last two digits like 99 instead of 1999 because the first two digits were missing people worried that on january 1st 2000 computers would think it was 1900 many believed this would cause major computer systems around the world to fail including those at hospitals and banks in the end most computer programs did not fail when the year changed from 1999 to 2000 so option A is computers have changed a lot since they were first developed. Many people thought computer programs would fail in the year 2000. C is hospitals and banks need computers to keep running. And the last option is any of the above. So here, uh, if we can see, it is written here that many believe this would cause major computer systems around the world to fail. So option B can be the suitable topic. Many people thought computer programs would fail in year 2000. Question number 26, what is the meaning of beauty is in the eye of the beholder? Option A is someone's husband or wife. B is beautiful eyes of the beholder. C is people have different tastes. D is word is beautiful when the eyes are beautiful. So it is said that beauty doesn't exist on its own, but it is created by the observer, the person who is looking at a thing. For example, for some people, trees are just plants, so nothing special in it. But for some people, trees and sceneries are so mesmerizing. It's totally up, uh, upon the person who is looking at the trees or any object. So 
uh, here we can say uh, option C is the suitable one. People have different tastes. So they like or dislike according to their tastes. Question number 27. What is the meaning of have a big mouth? To accept an offer now for a later time. Option B is to tend to give away secrets. C is to enjoy the life and D is to talk too funny. Uh, the meaning of have a big mouth is to tend to give away secrets. Question number 28. What is the meaning of go for Brock? Kyle knew his chances of getting elected were bad, but he wanted to go for broke and run for office anyway. Option A is to lose one's job. B is to take a big risk. C is to try one's luck and D is to cheat others. So the meaning of go for Brock means to take a big risk. And although Kyle knew that the chances were not too good, but still he took a big risk and keep on running the office. Question number 29, what is the meaning of the take something with a grain of salt? The man claimed he could do 300 push-ups, but we took it with a grain of salt. Option A is to doubt something. B is to compliment someone because one wants something. C is to be inspired. And D is to like someone due to his fitness. So here, the meaning of take something with a grain of salt is to doubt something or someone. Question number 30, read the claim below. Fishing is a great way to relax and enjoy the outdoors. Select the piece of evidence that best supports this claim. Option A is fishing requires the use of special equipment as well as access to clean body of water. That is not right. B is many anglers find that fishing promotes both patience and care for the natural world. So that can be the claim related to the uh, sentence given above. Option B is the correct option here.